and we went home and we got them out of the box and nobody bought them. They said, we love them, but what do we do with them? So we decided to start designing patterns that would showcase these prints so that we could sell the fabric because we had a huge investment in this fabric. So what then one of our sales reps took some pictures when he was there of some of our quilts and started showing them around to other shops and they started calling us for patterns and a pattern design business was formed <laughs> out of necessity in response to that. Um, since then we've, um, we have 18 patterns out. We have a club and fabric line with Michael Miller Fabrics and now our first book is out and it, our patterns aren't all, in all the sizes and our customers are asking us for patterns that they could do all of the sizes in and so this book is the response to that. And we're gonna show you the quilts from the book and talk to you about kitting and planning your purchases. Whenever I sit down with a sales rep, I've learned since that very first market to know how I'm gonna sell what I buy. So I sit down with a handful of patterns or a book or whatever I think is gonna be new and different in my shop and I order specifically for that. So we designed our patterns to make them easy to do that with. Usually they're fat quarters or half yards. We try to do risk-free kidding. So if we have a, am I talking real fast? I'm really nervous. <laughs> I can hear myself breathing in the microphone. Um, if we have a kit that's a bunch of half yards, for example, if the kit doesn't sell, because sometimes you make the kits, you cut the kits, you make the sample, and it's not as dynamic as you thought it was going to be when you had the idea, we can cut those half yards into fat quarters and put them in the fat quarter table and sell them. So we try to do a lot of risk-free kitting and try to get the fabric out the door, because the best part of being a shop owner is buying more fabric. And that's what I wanted to do. Um, we also do fat quarter quilts. We'll show you some of them where we bundle up the fat quarters. We have a bundle in there. And then we let the customers pick their own border. So we don't have to buy five bolts of a border fabric. We just do a little bundle like this. And it makes the basic of the quilt and then the center and then they can pick their own border. And if we run out of the bolt of the border we use, they just pick another coordinating border so we don't have to really stock up on something. I like to be able to not have a bunch of bolts on the shelf in the back that are waiting to come out. And I forgot to introduce Christine and tell about her. <laughs> when I bought the shop, I bought Christine with it. She already worked there. And um, I have a graphic design background and Christine has an engineering background. So while I always, had ideas, I couldn't get, get it together mathematically. And Christine, that's her challenge. She loves to do that. Yeah, she does all my math. <laughs> so we um, work really well together. I'm going to hand the mic over to her and let her talk about the quilts, and we're going to hold them up for you. Good morning. Um, so there's eight new patterns in this book. And we'll just start with the first one. It's called Straight Away. The lap size. Well, directional prints. Again, Michael Miller makes a lot of directional prints. We were working with them closely, so a lot of our patterns use directional prints. Um, this one's got the one with large print and then fat quarters. And the other thing Susan didn't mention is we both teach in our shop a lot, so when we write our patterns, we try to write them with very clear directions. Um, if there's fat quarters that they're cutting, there's not just words of how to cut them out, but there's diagrams. So you can see exactly how to lay that fat quarter out if it makes a difference which direction it is before you cut it. It's spelled out there. Um, we've got both visual learners that like all those pictures and some people actually read words, but we make sure we have good pictures. <laughs> The next one is Shady Character. Okay. This is a great way to hang samples in your shop. Penny's got going up here, just shower rings to make your quilts in two. All right, Shady Character uses one directional print where you've got that, or a nice focus directional print where the squares are. Um, and then the other thing we use on this one is the Creative Grids bubble strip ruler. Everybody wonders how we make those little uh, 
angled pieces with orange liner, and it's very simple. It's strip peaks. We use a double strip ruler. It's just a fun quilt to make. We've been doing a ton of demos in the shop, for, especially with the creative grid rollers. We are selling the heck out of them, and this quilt is simple to make once you make that cut diagonally, that 90 degree cut. It makes a great quick demo you can do in your shop without your customers having the expense of a full class or having it on the supply list where they have to buy all these rulers. Once, you, once they see it, they have to have it. <coughs> You have to be able to cut on the 90 degree to get that exact angle to make the square. You could probably use a, a ruler. However, this one makes nice demo. In the part of it, when you're cutting those 45 degrees, is, is you have to line it up each time you turn your ruler and make a cut. And when you lay this ruler down, you can make all those cuts and you get three pieces at a time. It's, it's less lining up. It's actually more convenient to use this ruler. The other thing we would do is our pattern, voila, which is out there, it uses that same ruler. So if you can show your customers more than one use for a ruler and explain how to use it, and this is a very popular pattern, um, like I said, make it a demo. You're not forcing them to buy the ruler, but when they see how nice it is, they'll buy it. We will be demoing that in the checkbook. Tomorrow at 12.45, I think, we're doing Book signing and demos in Checkers Booth, Friday at 12.45. And here's two more samples. Another thing we tend to do with our kits is mix in um, things like just the basics. We like to use the crystals, which you can get through Checker Michael Mono's crystals. And it's another basic in your shop. It's risk free because you use some of your kits, which you don't use, just goes in your color wall. And what pattern is that called? Shady character. Shady character. Times Square. Times Square is just a reaction to people saying we want a really simple pattern. Okay, squares. But it uses fat quarters. It tells people how many fat quarters to buy, and it's strip piece, so it's really quick to make. There's just so many beautiful fabrics out there that it's just a simple way to use it. And again, we mix some of those uh, basic crystals in there with the very bottom. And this one was dogs off the shelf. Okay. <laughs> no, not dogs. Some of them were dogs. They weren't selling. It's nice to be able to just go through your shop and say, look, if I pull these bolts, what can I make? And since again, they're fat quarters. And again, if you just bundle the fat quarters together without a border, sometimes the, the bundle's beautiful. They don't even buy it for the kit you're making, but they'll just buy them the bundles too. Baker's dozen. <coughs> Baker's doesn't start because the lap size is 13 back quarters. And again, it, it's simple to cut. You can stack your back quarters. The nice thing as a shop owner is these samples are quick to make too. And if you know you want to make one of these well, it's, it's easy to sit down with your, your fabric rep and say, I want to make a baker's dozen. Sometimes fabric collections have 40 bolts and you don't want to buy 40 bolts. But if you say, I want to make this kit, I can pick the 13 I want to go in a lap size quilt. If this is the border I want, I'll get it with bolts, or maybe a couple bolts, or maybe a couple, you know, three different bolts, and let people pick their borders and baggies. But that way you have a plan to sell what you're buying and to go into it. Uh, the next one's fat quarter four patch. This one's 15 fat quarters for the lap size, which is this bundle. Um, in the book, I think the lap size even has a border on it. We've made one without it. So just, you can just show off the pattern. You can use large prints in this one, directional if you want to turn it. Fat quarter four patch. Here's a larger one. 